I started my career as a writer. I worked on a movie called Save the Last Dance, and then I wrote on the original Step Up. And um, to me, music and dance have always been international languages. I think they're incredible, beautiful art forms and ways of communicating. So after having watched those movies and watched them be made, I thought it was time to you know, maybe take a shot as a storyteller, as a director, to, uh, to direct one. So I did a movie um, a few years ago called Make Your Move, and now I'm doing Heartbeats. The movie was actually completely shot in India, not even partially. Um, we shot all on location in India, even though the movie is bookended in LA. We, uh, we, it's the magic of movies to pretend India is LA. Um, you know, I got introduced to Bollywood movies about a decade ago, and one of the reasons I got intrigued by them was after seeing Moulin Rouge. And I read an interview with Baz Luhrmann, and he said he was really influenced by Bollywood films while making Moulin Rouge. So I, I kind of scratched my head and said, well, why and how? So I started watching some. And uh, they're just incredibly passionate human stories, dramatic stories that use music and dance as part of the storytelling. I think our movie has some real discoveries in our leading actress, Crystal Ellsworth, and our leading actor in Amitash, um, Anisha Josie, Prabhu uh, Punjabi, who plays uh, Amitash's friend. Um, we spent some time in LA casting The American Girl. Hired a casting director, um, Joanna Colbert, who also cast the original Step Up, along with the others. Um, so I'd known her for years, and we talked about working together. So we were looking for a dancer who could act, or an actor who could dance. And, um, and once, once we found Crystal, we knew we had our girl, but then we had to find our guy in India, and I was, I don't know, 5,000 miles away trying to do that. So it, it was a process, but I think we found some really wonderful young stars. Uh, the story was born out of a meeting with myself and two of our producers. We wanted to do something in India, um, and I pitched them the idea that it should be an American girl goes to India. So we bounced a few ideas around, and. You know, the question rose, what would take her to India that would be uniquely Indian? And we decided a wedding. She would be attending a family's wedding. Um, and that's, that was the genesis of the idea. American girl goes to India to attend a family's wedding. And then you begin to imagine what are the challenges with that? What are the conflicts? What does her family think of her being a dancer? What is she trying to overcome? Who's the boy and what is he trying to overcome? You know, it's been said that dance is the most beautiful form of nonverbal communication there is. Every culture dances, every time era dances, um, and I really believe that. I think, you know, so many great conversations, you know, can be said in dance, and, um, and it's also incredibly cinematic. And music could be argued that it's the most beautiful uh, oral form. Of, of communication. The same thing. I mean, a beautiful piece of music or a beautiful piece of dance can touch you emotionally regardless of the language. Well, I think Heartbeats is ultimately about love and hope and belief in yourself and uh, in, in believing you can overcome obstacles that are in front of you. And that doesn't matter where you are, where you're from, what color your skin is, what language you speak. Um, and I think those are, those are the big things, those are the big themes, and, and truly it's a love story. And these are two characters that find each other on the opposite sides of the globe. You know, who, who would have expected love to find them that way? And not even this enormous distance can keep them apart.